Hello folks, my name is Michael Vandenberg, and I'm going to discuss my book that I wrote, Why Marijuana is Legal in America. And to get to the point of it, is if you, everybody can Google this, as Ronald Reagan would say, trust but verify. I want you to go to Title 26 and pull up existing rights and liabilities. It's under Section 7851. Let me go ahead and read this real quick, existing rights and liabilities. The repeal of any provision of the Internal Revenue Code of 1939 shall not affect any act done or any right occurring or accrued or any suit or proceeding had or commenced in any civil cause before such repeal. Now here, listen real close. But all rights and liabilities under such code shall continue and may be enforced in the same manner as if such repeal had not been made. Did you catch that? All rights and liabilities under such code shall continue and may be enforced. What that means is that anything in the 39 statutes at large that these rights, Congress made these rights permanent. Now there's real key, the real key to claiming your right and enforcing them because as it says right there, there they shall continue, and that means that they are permanent rights. Any right back then can be claimed and enforced. And that's going to be up to each individual to claim the rights and enforce them, like speak up to if you get picked up by the police. I mean, you got to start claiming all these rights. And plus, in the back of the book, I also have an affidavit for claiming your marijuana rights or even, even drug rights. There's two affidavits in the back of my book that shows you how to claim these rights and start enforcing them because that is key you got to know them and claim them and just like in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge that is what I'm trying to do is give you the knowledge and the keys to claim these rights and enforce them take a stand for your rights that is why marijuana is legal in America because in the 39 statutes what Congress did they recognize the right to be an illegal user. What does that mean? That means that whenever you bought marijuana that you had to pay, they understood that there would be an illegal user by adding a $100 an ounce tax. And that's why I'm saying that marijuana is legal because even Congress back then recognized the fact that there would be an illegal user, an end user, with that $100 tax per ounce. I'm saying that everybody has the right to be an illegal user because Congress recognized that and they established the fact with the $100 tax, that transaction tax or transfer tax, either way, whatever you want to call it. But you have to know that in order to claim it and enforce it. And you can go back through all the statutes, but that's just one of the main rights about using marijuana. But they also recognize that we have the right to manufacture it, to grow it. All these things were in the statutes. All these rights are in there because Congress added taxes and statutes for all these activities. That's why it is so important to restore America's economy is to understand all these rights and claim all of them because it's not right to take more of a selfish stand according to what the legalization is right now that, that they're trying to do in the United States because it's, there's a bigger issue and more important issue and that is industrialization of hemp. I know a lot of people may not like that but it is the number one alternative fuel source on planet earth. Hemp is. Number one. Doesn't get any better. And there's probably 25, 40,000 products that you can make out of hemp. That's why it is important to go beyond just the medical marijuana that is currently being pushed in America. And I hope everybody understands what I just said about claiming rights and enforcing these rights. I'll talk about it in a little more detail in some other videos. Thank you very much.